Right now, the 5.30 rush, and we begin with the big story in the state this week. Both UConn teams in the Final Four, and we are following their road to victory with live team coverage. Let's, let's kick things off with Channel 3's Erin Connolly, who's in Phoenix, Arizona tonight. Hi, Erin. Hi, Stephanie. Downtown Phoenix is really the place to be, and this city is ready for Husky Nation. We've seen a lot of people checking into the hotel. More and more Husky fans keep coming. I think tomorrow will be really the big travel day. But this city is prepared. There is so much to do for fans outside of the basketball games, which is the big reason that everyone's here. But while you're not watching a game, so much to do. I'll introduce you to the Fan Fest, which is one of the highlights every single year at the Final Four. Well, the Final Four is about a lot more than just three basketball games. It's all about the fans here in downtown Phoenix, and we're talking about the Fan Fest. We're at the Phoenix Convention Center, which is in downtown Phoenix. The Fan Fest starts tomorrow, and it's a perfect event for families, people of all ages. There's games, there's performances. You can get autographs from everyone from Steve Fisher to Isaiah Thomas and Grant Hill. It's really something for everyone here. A lot of excitement building, and I also want to point you in this direction right outside the Fan Fest is the 3D NCAA tournament bracket. All these teams, their hopes and dreams have been dashed, but four teams remain. NC State, Alabama, Purdue, and of course, the Yukon Huskies. Oh yes, can't forget about those Huskies, that's for sure. Now the Fan Fest opens starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. I also want to mention there's going to be a music festival every night. That starts tomorrow as well. That's at Hans Park, which is also located here in downtown Phoenix. Every run from Zed to Mumford and & Sons and the Jonas Brothers. So like I said, lots for fans to do here in Phoenix, Arizona.